had five pupils. Hey everyone, it's Jason, and welcome back to Martial Arts Theater 3000. Today we're returning to the Venom Mob Countdown, so let's jump back into it. Coming in at number 19, we have 1980's Heaven and Hell. Wow, this is a bizarre one. Is it a horror movie? Is it a musical? <laughs> There's definitely some kung fu, but this one's all over the place. It actually was neck and neck with my number 20, Ode to Gallantry. I couldn't figure out which one I liked better. This one inched it out because it is so bizarre. I could picture this being seen in a theater with an audience and everyone cracking up throughout. So for that reason, I think it edges out Ode to Gallantry. This was reported to be a very difficult shoot. And to say shoot, I mean, it lasted over five years. Chang Chase started it in 1975, and it was released in 1980. So there was budget issues, and they would have different actors that were basically the most popular actors of the time at Shaw Brothers are in this movie. It was definitely a troubled shoot, and I do think you can see that in the end result. One of the most impressive things about this movie is the cast alone. This is a who's who of Kung Fu stars in the 70s and early 80s. From Lu Fang to Li Yi Min to Alexander Fu Shang, David Chang. I mean, this really has it all. And I always love when it's a full Venom mob lineup, of course. I would attempt to break down the whole plot, but this is one you just have to see. Uh, I could see some people really not liking this one. It has a lot of B-movie qualities to it. They don't really feel like Shaw Brothers sets. Even when they're on Earth versus being in Heaven or Hell, it feels very surreal. Uh, there's musical numbers, and I'm not a fan of musicals, but I actually like these songs a bit. And I saw in the opening credits that Chang Che wrote all the lyrics, so that's impressive. Once it gets to the Hell segment, there are just brutal scenes with just just pure torture and so i mean it's hell but they really definitely don't pull back at all on this one and i have to say the kung fu has kind of like a mid-70s feel to it for the majority of the film it's not very fast-paced or extremely intricate but even when it gets to the venom mob it doesn't they feel a little bit reserved i'm not sure if they were trying to match the previous fighting style from the earlier scenes because like I said it started in 1975 and you can tell they brought the Venoms in around 77 to 1980 and unlike the previous two movies in the countdown this doesn't really have like an amazing ending to it that really saves the day the whole thing's pretty consistent but the ending it's just okay it's not like a Venom mob standard classic like blow your head off ending they feel kind of confined because they're fighting their way out of hell for how ridiculous it is, is another reason you've got to check it out. But I could see a lot of people not loving this one for sure. So for the plot and acting in this one, I'd give it a 6 out of 10. For the action and fighting, I'd also give it a 6 out of 10. And you might ask, well, why is this higher than the other two that had better ratings? Well, I'm going to throw in a ridiculousness factor on this one. Put that up at a 9 out of 10. So that kind of balances it all out. It's just so zany and off the wall that I definitely think it makes it worth checking out more than the previous two on my list. So Heaven and Hell, also known as Shaolin Hellgate, comes in at number 19. And I just wanted to say thanks, guys, for the support. If you've seen Heaven and Hell, let me know in the comments below what you think of it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah.